drinking alcohol can make us less inhibited and feel more sociable, but ordering alcohol at a bar can sometimes be a daunting experience if you're not sure what you're doing. Take whiskey, for example. Whiskey is an incredibly complex drink with thousands of different brands and flavors with confusing names and labels like single malt or blended or 20 or 30 year blue, red, black, scotch, bourbon. Uh, and to make things even more difficult, there are several different ways that you can drink it. You can drink it straight up on the rocks with water or in a cocktail. I happen to like whiskey, but I'm actually relatively uneducated on the subject because I, it was only recently that I learned that adding a little bit of water to whiskey can actually do the opposite of what I thought it would do. It can make it taste stronger. Generally, you add water to a drink to dilute it, uh, which would make it taste weaker, obviously, which is why I've always avoided doing it to good whiskeys. Adding ice to a whiskey, for instance, can dilute it to the point where you can't really taste it at all, especially when you consider that the ice lowers the temperature, uh, which is a good way to make any drink less flavorful because our taste buds have trouble with extreme temperatures. It's the reason why you serve red wine at room temperature so you can really taste it all. And it's the reason why we think red wine and white wine taste so wildly different because we serve white wine chilled. You can't really taste it as much. If you leave it at room temperature, you might be surprised how difficult it is to tell the difference between that and a red. Uh, but it turns out that if you add just a tiny bit of water, uh, a few drops at most, to a glass of very smoky whiskey, uh, like many scotch whiskeys, for example, uh, you can really amp up that smoky flavor. And the particulars of why this happens aren't incredibly well understood, which is why some intrepid researchers are working on the science behind it. A new paper has just been published in Scientific Reports that looks closely at the chemical reaction that occurs when water hits your whiskey glass. The primary culprit is guaiacol, a molecule that gives off that peaty, smoky taste in some whiskeys. Uh, guaiacol is amphipathic, meaning that it's a mixture of hydrophobic and hydrophilic. And that means that there's a part of it that is repelled from water and a part of it that is attracted to water, uh, which means that guaiacol behaves differently depending on how much water and how much ethanol there is for it to interact with in your glass. Before whiskey leaves the distillery, of course, it's already diluted down considerably, usually to around 40% uh, alcohol by volume. The research shows that this first step is really important to make the guaiacol taste more prominent. Uh, but when it's in your glass, that guaiacol is still pretty mixed up in the whiskey. Adding just a few drops of water is enough to push a bunch of the guaiacol to the surface of your glass where you can more easily smell and therefore more easily taste it. The researchers found that this works best in whiskey up to 45% ABV. Uh, with higher ABV whiskeys like cask strength of around 59% strength, the guaiacol interacts more strongly with the ethanol, causing it to be pushed down into the mixture away from the surface and therefore away from your nose and therefore making it more difficult for you to taste it. So did science show exactly the right way to drink whiskey? No, because taste, as always, is completely subjective. But it does show us why, if you love a peaty whiskey, adding a drop of water to it might make it even peatier. You can even try this uh, using just your own saliva. Uh, take a sip of a really peaty whiskey and let it sit in your mouth long enough to start generating some saliva, um, maybe 15 seconds or so. And after that time, you should be left with a, an almost oilier liquid in your mouth that is significantly more smoky, more powerful than the whiskey was at first taste. Uh, it's pretty cool to learn something about chemistry, traditionally my own personal worst subject, in a way that you can directly try and taste for yourself. Uh, if you're over 21, of course, or like 14 or whatever it is in Scotland.